go to Google and then you'll search for SQL Server downloads and hit enter. Pick the first link from Microsoft saying SQL Server downloads. Scroll a little bit down here to developer download now and go click it. That will download the executable. You will open it. Here you will select the basic installation. You will say accept, install, and let's fast forward. A few moments later. SQL Server is now installed. While SQL Server is a database management system from Microsoft, SQL Server Management Studio is a software tool also from Microsoft that gives you a graphical interface on top of SQL Server. We can install it by clicking install SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. Here you scroll a little bit down under download SSMS, click this. That will download another executable. Once that has download, you again click to open that file and that will start the installation for SQL Server Management Studio. Click install and we will fast forward once more. A few moments later. That's it. Everything is installed. I can click close here. I can close the browser and I can click close on the SQL Server installation. To use SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio, I can go down to my start menu. First, we will search for SQL Server 2022 Configuration Manager. I can click to open it. If I go up to SQL Server Services, I can see that SQL Server is running right here. That's fine, let's close it again. To open up SQL Server Management Studio, I again click on the start menu. Now I search for SQL Server Management Studio 20. Click to open it. That will open up SSMS SQL Server Management Studio. We now need to connect to the SQL Server, which is the database. Here, the default is Windows Authentication. I can change that to, for example, Enter ID, but I will stay in Windows Auth. Go down here and trust the server certificate and click Connect. Now we are connected. 